Hi folks, this is Vic back again with another fragrance review. Today I'm going to review JHL by Estee Lauder, released in 1982, and the performer of uh, Estee Lauder and Bernard Shaw. JHL is an oriental aromatic spicy scent, and I would like to talk a little bit about this scent, and then we develop the notes and the rest. This scent was created by Estee Lauder for her husband whose initials were JHL, Joseph Harold Lauder. The original bottle was supposedly inspired by the shape of his favorite brandy, and the original box was designed based on his favorite smoking jacket. So now let's talk a little bit about the notes. Top notes are bergamot, lemon, orange, pimento. Heart notes are carnation, cinnamon, fir, rose. Base notes are lavandanum, vanilla, patchouli, sandalwood. So JHL is a kind of very selected clone. Uh, it's surely it's not a crowd pleaser. It's not a mainstream scent such as uh, Sauvage by Dior or uh, One Million by Paco Rabanne. And this scent is a perfect scent for fall and winter. Also, I can tell you, JHL has a lot of similarities with Opium by Yves Saint Laurent and also uh, to uh, Cinnabar uh, by uh, Lauder, the woman's version which was released prior to JHL. Uh, also, this scent has its own uh, personality. It's a fabulous uh, oriental aromatic spicy scent, extremely well blended uh, because it's also called custom blended cologne and i can tell you that Estee Lauder and Bernard Sean together they've done a fabulous job over JHL because they it's not very easy to make such a perfume and it's pretty uh, amazing because this scent is not even outdated you can wear it and you will still get tons of compliment from uh, people around you and the new version, of course, has been reformulated because they released it again in 2010 in Aramis Gentleman's Collection. But it's still, it's a great scent. Little bit toned down, little bit less lasting, but remain a fabulous scent. And I really advise you, if you never try JHL, go for it. If you try JHL, you know what I'm talking about. And also, uh, I am the first, I guess I'm the first reviewer to fully review JHL on YouTube. Also, Sebastian from Smelly Goods, uh, he done it, but a little quick review, and he done a great job also, I have to tell. And um, I have a passion for JHL. That's why I wanted to share this gem with you. I hope you're gonna love it, and I hope you're gonna enjoy it as much as I enjoyed. Cheerio!